going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. Okay, so in the box here, oh yeah. This is something um, that I really do love. This is a piece that a lot of people either love or you hate that whole collection when it came out. So I was really happy that I was able to find it. All right, there's nothing in the box there. And I love those boxes, they're really good to reuse for other things. Okay, I'm open it up and here we go. This is the Louis Vuitton kimono wallet. It comes in black and like a red and there's also a card holder the card holder looks just like this except of course it's smaller and either it's in black or red so we're going to go ahead and get into an in-depth review of it and let's go so now that i have the kimono laid out here i wanted to do a more closer look because this is an item that's over one thousand dollars i really do think that a lot of people would appreciate this type of detailed review and looking at it very closely especially because a lot of my subscribers are in foreign countries where a Louis Vuitton store is very far from them. So this would benefit them a lot watching it in this video. The stitching here is absolutely immaculate. I cannot see any imperfect imperfections in the stitching. And in, this is the film, like I said, to protect it from getting scratched. Um, it will look so luxe to just take this off and be that careful as a person not to get it scratched up. But of course, we do live in reality and things do get bumped around in our bag sometimes. So again, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. The little uh, zipper here that works so beautifully, it says, voila, LV on it. I can show you right there. Let me try to get a good look. There you go. It says LV. It's kind of like a pebbled leather inside. The little dots here say... Louis Vuitton and these are the snap enclosures of course you got two you got one two three four see that all right so beautiful beautiful opening in the inside is just, it feels really soft in here but there's nothing in there it's like looking into a black hole there's nothing there you can put money back here in the back in fact I do think that there is something here there we go this is the, uh, there you go, the PF Kimono Monogram New York M56175. And I'm going to put this right in there again. And again, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stand corrected. 12 credit card holders. Beautiful. Let me see. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna turn it around this way. I'm gonna look inside this pocket here. And of course, another black hole of luxury. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna just turn it around and you can see some of the stitching on this side there. Beautiful. And like I said, it is one piece of canvas and I'm gonna show you the canvas this way. So with time, I would I would imagine that this part would crease a lot, but that's just my opinion. Look at that. Ain't that neat? If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to, to get to you. I usually respond very quickly, but my biggest thing is I'm mainly on Instagram a lot. And if you're on Facebook, my Facebook is Rich Lux on Facebook. I have two accounts. I have a personal account on Facebook and I have like a business account. So you can check that out. Okay, as you can see here, since this is a new item, it has like a film. So it protects the V from Vuitton from getting scratched up. It has a, this right here, see that? That snap enclosure. That's what I don't like. I kind of wish it had a magnetic enclosure, but inside here it says Louis Vuitton, and this one says made in Spain. Okay, and there we go. Unzip the unzip this here for you. You can see inside, it's pretty much nothing in there. There's no extra pockets to put cards or anything. It has one, two, three, four, so eight here, and then one, two, three, four 
here and then you of course you can put dollar bills inside here it's not it's not that much space because it's kind of stops about right here and then on this side you have uh, this I guess that pocket here that opens up a little bit deeper and so you can put money and stuff in there and let me go ahead and show you some of the details of it beautiful this retailed at 1000 I think I think it was like 1100 or 1200 somewhere around there but that's what it was uh, this is a beautiful leather I, I thought this was this was epi leather at first but it's not but this is what I don't like like you see, you have to like struggle with it to for it to snap, and I just wish it was a magnet instead. Beautiful piece of, of leather. It's uh, it's all one piece, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back up this way. All right. And this is the part of the kimono collection. Now the reason it's called kimono is because if you're familiar with Asian culture, a kimono is something that people wear. It drapes on one side and it drapes on the other side. So this will be draped this way and this one will drape, drape over it on top. I think geishas wear them. If I'm, not, if I'm clear, I think geishas do wear them. And so... If this was a real kimono, the rest of the Louis Vuitton fabric would be under this one since this is at the bottom. And so that's just the whole the whole thing about a kimono. And kimonos are really, really cool to wear, especially in the summertime or um, no, not in the summertime, especially in the wintertime or in the fall. I own about one and this really it's like a black and white beautiful kimono. So I guess again this wallet comes in the monogram in red and black and also so does the card holder. Um, if you really really do love this collection but you can't afford the 1000 because you feel like it's a little bit too pricey at the time, definitely get the kimono wallet. It's a step up from the regular card holder and it has this V. Of course, this V will get scratched up, so you have to be very 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 careful that uh, it that does not happen because if you you do want to take care of your pieces for any case that you do want to like resell them or trade or anything of that nature you can definitely do that with these wallets okay now so I can just find the receipt for you in here so I can tell you the exact price of it okay um, so here's the receipt and this was 1,100, you can see that there. Okay, and I'm surprised I didn't get an envelope. You know how like when you go to Louis Vuitton, they'll give you like the envelope that you put stuff in. But for whatever reason, I've noticed that like, because I, I shop there so much, the people already kind of know me. So I, I kind of feel like I get like a, I don't get, the same experience as if I was the same, like a brand new customer or a new customer to them. They're like, oh, it's Rich, you know, you know, he's here to, to pick up this and then just give it to me. But I just feel like I do wish the consistency was all across the board and they did wrap it up and they did include this and did include like the Camille flower every single time and things like that. So, you know, that is kind of like a letdown for me because I kind of wish I did have those things all the time to show you. But like I said, this is what this is what I get. I get the box. You know, I get the dust bag that came with it. I get the item and then I get the receipt. But usually there's like a, a leather, not leather, but it looks leather, but it's like a, a thick paper almost like this that goes around it. And... Um, you would have the receipt inside and the person who helped you's card in case you need to contact them. But this was my review of the Kimono Louis Vuitton wallet. I really do hope you like it. Leave a thumbs up on this video and comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.